Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'll be doing a little maiden flight with my new custom Carbon Micro H quad build. Um, now this is kind of misleading calling it a maiden flight, um, because I have indeed flown this indoors and outdoors quite a bit, but all those flights were um, FPV. So this is my first maiden flight um, line of sight outdoors, so I'm just going to do that. And also just to show you how it does before I can get, I'm going to try and buy a DVR so I can show you some of the FPV footage. I'm going to have it bound up to my turn or not my turn I'm so used to saying that, my new Free Sky Tyrannus X90 Plus, which is awesome. And I have a Orange RX module in the back. Um, and I'll leave a link down to my uh, unboxing and build videos of the parts for this, how to do it. So let's start off here. And it's, it's really tricky to get this module and um, stuff to bind and work together, but I finally got it, so I have it bound right now. So let's start off. A hand toss. You can see here. Pretty cool. Pretty stable. It twitches just a little bit, but my props, you can see that there, that wasn't me. The board does that sometimes. You can see it looks really cool with those clear propellers and the FPV cam up front. And I have been flying this around, it flies very well. It's not the loudest, but it's definitely not the quietest. See, and now I still need to. I'm flying in self leveling mode right now, by the way. And I do need to increase the gauge of the wire from the battery to the board because the stock it's not thick enough, so I'm, I don't get as much power as I could. But I'm going to do that probably after this flight. So let's do a full throttle punch here. So you can see not too much punch to it, but definitely enough to fly around you can see it's pretty fast and like I said I will be once I increase that wire thickness I should get more power because it'll let more flow to the board because the stock wires from the board are made to, for just a little um, the little blade nano QX battery this is obviously drawing quite a bit more power so you can see it flies really nice do a full funnel here and these are a hundred percent rates on the nano qx board um full 100 percent rates see funnels really nicely and i do have 55 percent expo dialed in um the yaw is not the yaw is on 40 percent so that's 40 percent yaw so because 100 is really fast so let me um flip my trainer switch and now i should be in acro mode you can see there's no leveling and let's do some flips. Ooh. Needs a little more room than I expected for the flips. Very touchy. But it definitely will flip. Oh, my battery actually died. That was about, I think, a three minute flight. Because it's pretty cold out right now. It's about 32 degrees, so zero degrees Celsius. Um, it was 32 Fahrenheit, so it was pretty cold out. And these, uh, the board, the one thing that I really don't like about the board is it always stops it at the batteries at 3.83 volts, so storage charge. But it just, I wish I got more flight time than that because I get about three to four minutes outdoors and about four to five indoors um, when I'm flying. Um, but there we go, that was a quick little flight of my Micro Carbon H custom build. I guess that'll leave links down to my build and unboxing videos. Check out below if you want to do that. Um, I'll Stay tuned, I'll be trying. Any gap and it'll work. Um, so there we go, that's the quick video. So stay tuned for more and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. 